Hello everyone, this is Terry. Welcome back to World of Warship Splits. Today we have another episode on the road to Des Moines. And as you can see, if you look closely, we need 76,400 76, um, experience to get the New Orleans. And we have 76,500 on the Pensacola. So, without further ado, here is the New Orleans, the Tier 7 American heavy cruiser. We search the ship. Uh, you might be asking, you've got 270,000 free XP, why are you not using this? Well, okay, let me show you something very quick in the British tech tree. Uh, you see that thing there? The At Tier 7, the premium ship, the Nelson, 350,000 free XP. Yeah, I'm almost there, so that's why. But let's get back to the New Orleans. So we've got the New Orleans, we cannot purchase her. 1.7 million and there she is pretty ship let's have a quick look at the stats as she comes completely out of the box so as you can see i've never played the ship before i've never done anything i have no idea what's up for what we're up for so let's take a look we've got about 25,000 health we've got finally a little bit better armor than the pensacola so She's a bit more tanky. She's not still don't want to give broadsides to battleships with this thing, but it's a bit more tanky. 31 knots is a bit slower than the Pensacola, but has a much better turn time. Uh, we've got 9 guns instead of 10. I've still got an 11 second reload, so that's one gun less. But um, I think she's got a better fire chance. Let's see, 5, 10, 7%, uh, 7, 10. And the Pensacola fully upgraded. Yeah, she's got um, she's got 1% uh, better uh, chance of setting fire. So that's good. So we don't have to set things in fire in battleships. She still has the 127mm secondaries. Still 8 of them. I think they're pretty much the same as the Pensacola's. AA, 112, 115 is alright. Pensacola fully upgraded is a bit more. So uh, we can expect we can expect that to be slightly better than the Pensacola. And concealment is at 8 kilometers at base, and the Pensacola was at 9.4. So she's a bit more stealthy as well. Okay. We don't have torpedoes, we don't want to stealth fire, we're going to use our guns, in which case we bloom, and there's no point in, in being stealthy in the first place. So uh, let's not worry about that too much. Turret traverse speed, 9 degrees, so that is not great. But um, I think the Pensacola was similar in that regard. Uh, yeah, she's actually worse, even with the upgrades, I've only got her at 8.5, so... Um, okay, bit more tanky. Um, guns are comparable, slightly better chance of setting fire. Um, all in all, I think it's, it's kind of like a natural progression from the Pensacola. Probably the biggest difference I see is uh, the armor protection and the turn time. Because 5.7 seconds versus unupgraded versus the Pensacola, 7 seconds. And that's with the equipment modules in. So, uh, first things first. Let's, uh, let's actually see... And one thing I keep forgetting, auto resupply the consumables, because we'll be running out otherwise, and that's bad. Uh, let's go and upgrade her. I might not actually have enough blueprints around, so let's go quickly, let's go around quickly through and see what we can do here. Okay, we're going to need five more. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, in case you haven't seen this yet, blueprint research lets you spend money and lower tier blueprints to make a bigger blueprint. So, if you don't have enough around, it's an easy way to make more. So, let's get that. And we need 15 more. And it's getting expensive, but that's alright. Because we want the chip upgraded. So, we want that elite chip bonus. It's going to be the same story here. I've had, unlocked a lot of tier 7 ships recently, so the, the 4 star blueprints are kind of something that I'm going to have to be making for a while. And 15 was the final one. There we go. And upgrade. Okay, we definitely have enough blueprints for the secondaries. Uh, simply because I'm not necessarily a battleship player. I do have a couple of battleships, but not uh, outrageously many. So we're going to need 19 of these. Uh, let's actually do that slightly more elegantly. Combine. That's done. And that. Oh, two more? Where did I miscalculate? Anyway, uh, done. 
And again, same story here. We're not having enough. Oh yeah, because we need six. We have four. We need six and 15 to so 21 of these. Okay. Combine. Yes, it goes into the money. Well, that's what I got premium ships for. Uh, I actually have to make a video about economy at some point, but yeah. Okay, so everything's fully upgraded. Let's have a look at our stats now. So we've got uh, 28,000 hit points. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good. Um, obviously no change in maneuverability or turn time. We've got uh, 587 and 817. I think these are the same stats as on the uh, on the Pensacola. So she has pretty, she has literally the same guns, just in triple turrets. And one less, obviously. Um, secondaries, yeah, same thing. Uh, AI is a little bit better than the Pensacola. Does she still get the... Uh, yeah, she still get the air defense alert. And she gets the second ship skill, the rapid reload one. Okay, that's good to know. So... Reloading is going to be faster. Okay, uh, elite ship bonus. What do we have? We've got cruiser modernization, which is just kind of usually general things. Hit, hit points, A damage, and traverse speed. Oh no, I'm going to stick with the reload time here because these are gun cruisers and um, I like my reload very much. So that gets the reload down from 11 seconds to... Uh, it's not going to show yet. Let's see if we can get it to show. Uh, is it, is it, yeah, so we've got it down to 10.6 seconds. In terms of supplies, let's put some supplies in while we're at it. Oh, and let's get the commander over. Yeah, commander comes from the comes from the Pensacola. Where is he? I can source him here. Here he is. Okay. I'm not gonna spend any money on upgrading him because we only have 30,000 30, XP to go. So at this point, I don't I don't really want to spend money on this. Um, you can see because he's he's he hasn't uh, he's, he's been transferred um, from the Pensacola, so he's uh, he only gets half of his skills, which means we have to we currently don't get the air defense expert, we don't get the fire supremacy yet, and we don't get the generalist yet. Uh, with he, he then you then have to go through thirty one thousand XP obviously to get him back to where he was supposed to be, uh, or you pay two hundred you pay gold or free XP to get that happening, or you can pay two hundred thousand silver to get him to fifty percent. But two hundred thousand silver for fifteen thousand XP, that's probably ten battles roughly. Uh, not going to spend that. That's twenty thousand per battle. I, I'm a, I'd be glad if I make that much in the battle. Not worth it. So supplies. Let's put supplies in. And we're going to go with main battery reload, obviously, um, ship hit points, and the uh, uh, the refined diesel for some ship speed. Uh, I actually almost never, as you can see by the amount of stuff that I have in stock here, I almost never use the extra AA ammo. Um, just because it's not always, you're not always guaranteed to um, to have a carry in play. And it's a complete waste of money if you're if you're do, if you're doing this, and then there's no carry around. So maybe 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 I'll keep it for competitive play or something. Well, we'll see. But like in the tier ten battles, um, I set these to auto resupply just so I don't have to think about them. So that's done. Now equipment. What can we put in here? Uh, we could we could put. We don't want a secondary spec her. She's not a German ship. Uh, we don't want we don't want the aiming system mod either because we don't have any torpedo tubes and I really don't care about the traverse speed on the secondaries because the secondaries are are mounted sideways. Um, the auxiliary armament I, I don't care about either because yes it'll be an AA spec but uh, nah nah not at tier seven quite yet and um, uh, not not with the with the ship. Main battery mod for traverse speed, that would be grand. So we got, what, 9 degrees at the moment? So we'd get uh, 1.8 degrees additional, so it'd be a 10.8. That'd be good, or we could go with the uh, mod 2, which means we get 5% reload time, so that's roughly half a second down. Uh, it gets us almost, gets us under 10 seconds probably. Let's have a quick look, a quick double check. Get us under 10, yeah, it gets us down to 10 seconds, basically, if we do that. We get 10 second reload, and then the reload booster can do what exactly? Uh, let's see, rapid reload. Rapid reload gets uh, gun speed, reload speed uh, up by 15%. Okay. Would be nice. Would definitely, both would be nice. It's always my, it's always my, my grief with this first slot. Second slot. Um, uh, 
we could we could we could do the same setup as on the pens almost the same setup as on the Pensacola. Third slot, we could go for speed. And I think that's what I'm gonna do that. Because I'm in a cruiser and I only have 31 knots. I definitely do like to increase my speed. So um five percent that would give us um like a knot and a half. So we'd be at 33. Yeah, let's do that. Also, there's no downsides to this, and she already has the maneuverability. For me, it's always a check between speed and maneuverability. Again, we could AA spec her to increase the AA range, but uh, really not. Concealment for a cruiser that has to use guns. You get the first salvo off. Okay, given. Uh, you can maybe you can maybe go stealth easier with if you use a camo and concealment, but uh, I, I don't find that I have time for these things. I'd rather dodge stuff. Because we only have six minutes of gameplay to start with, so these kind of shenanigans are not really for me. Uh, definitely propulsion mod. And let's go, let's decide what else could we do. So here we could we'll probably get the steering mod in to get it a little, get her even a little bit nimbler. I might leave that open for, for, for now. And um, for the slot one. Ooh, I'm very tempted to get the battery mod. The problem is, it decreases your main battery survivability, so your turret gets knocked out all the time. Which is, which is a bit of an issue, really. Um, or you go with turret traverse speed. How does she have the turrets mounted? She's got them front mounted. So we've got two turrets forward, which means if we're turning, they can they can rotate around the forward arc, and uh, they don't have to go like uh, like com completely around. So, yeah. Hmm. I'm not decided. Let's leave it out for now, and um, I can always uh, I can always put that back later. I actually have a camo at the moment open, or well, not the historical camo, but let's just get this one, which gives us a bit better surface detection. Um, you can buy these, by the way. Uh, I think they cost um, no, not this one, that that one. They cost like twelve thousand silver or something. I usually don't bother, maybe just for like high tier games. But for, um, I, I had it in a I had it in a box, so um, we might as well try it. Okay, so that's my Pensacola. What am I talking about? That's my New Orleans. <laughs> uh, fully upgraded without two equipment slots fitted. Because I want to play her a couple of times. Because you see these things are expensive, right? You pay three hundred or four hundred fifty thousand for the for the equipment mods. So that's almost if you sell these and then rebuy them, you're wasting a lot of money. So let's try it out without first and just see how she plays. Again. My first time, absolutely first time playing this. I have no experience. I haven't figured out how to play her yet. I'm going to basically play her a little bit more aggressively than the Pensacola and just see how that's going to work out. So uh, bear with me if things don't work and I'm terribly losing and stuff just goes terribly wrong, then uh, you probably know why. But uh, let's try it out and see how, how she plays. Okay, random battle, uh, full deck. We're top tier. We've got a Nelson Bayern New Mexico, three cruisers, one destroyer. Okay, and it's a Leningrad. All right, so no long-range torps, at least not from the destroyer. And we're playing Golden Channel. So, where, where are we going? Left, right, let's go left. Hello, everyone. Okay, let's go left. We have a slow turret rotation, so we want to pre-aim. So this is not too terrible, actually. How's the the turning? Could be the the rudder shift could be a little bit better still. Might go with the rudder shift module in the, in slot two. Oh, where are you going? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm a tier seven cruiser. I have right of way built in. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's try to flank. Uh, secure the right flank. Sorry, the left flank. I'm talking about today. And because um, they don't have many DDs, so there's nothing really coming at us very quick. Most of them, most of them are probably going to peek out behind that mountain on the other side there, and then try to establish a defensive line. Uh, what have we got? We got an enemy cruiser spotted. Why is he spotted already? Our team captured the area. Must be some, must be a Pensacola with a terrible spotting range or something. We actually have a decent spotting range with this thing. Okay. Uh, no, it's, another, it's an enemy New Orleans. Uh, is he stationary? He looks stationary to me. Let's get our range. Uh, yep, she's stationary. Okay. It's reversing. 
Let's use the rapid reload and uh, let's get some shots. Oh, there's a battleship up ahead. Is he AFK? Doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, he's not. Moving forwards. Okay, not a great amount of damage so far. Okay, there we go. Now it gets interesting. Quick turn. Yep, that hurt. Okay, do not broadside battleships. We can't pen battleships. And uh, we... So we might have to switch over to the... Yeah, we've got the same problem that the 200mm guns can't really penetrate battleships. Okay. Now the New Mexico. Uh, let's get the guns out. And turn. Oh, that was a bad timing. Woo, lucky. Two fires. Not bad. Now you, <laughs> you can't damage Con. I guess he just controlled the flooding. So these are perma fires. Can we get a third one? Let's see. We'll just keep our, keep harping on him. Uh, you can't hit me like this because the mountain's in the way. But I might be able to lob once you're around that little ledge here. Uh, where are you exactly? There you are. Can I lob? Yes, I can. Okay, stop. So you can't see me from there. Reverse in, full stop. And let's just keep firing the high explosive at him. Let's reverse a little bit because he's going forward and he can see me now. So let's angle in. Is he going to shoot at me? Come on, give me another fire. Okay, let's use the other rapid reload. Still in range. Let's go forward again. Let's so confuse him. Yeah, he's shooting at me. Let's see. Can you? Yeah. There we go. Another fire. Yep, you overshot. That's what you call playing with speed. Nice shot. Okay, angle out. Ah, he has rapid reload as well, doesn't he? Ouch. Heal. Okay, let's not risk broadsiding this guy or giving him anything else to shoot at if we can. Just keep reversing. There we go, another fire. <laughs> I'm liking the fires on this thing. Okay, wiggle the ship. Uh, we're running into ground. Okay, let's go forward. Okay, come on, we can burn this guy down. Can do it. Ah, oh, it extinguished. Okay. And reverse again. Ow. Come on, almost got her. Yes, another fire, and there she goes. Whew! Okay, what are we looking at? Hey, we're losing. Okay, let's get that cup. Nah, uh, that's gonna be a close one. Let's get that cup back. We've got what? They've got a cruiser, there's a destroyer over there. I've spent way too much time playing with this New Mexico over here. What's that Colorado they're doing? He hasn't lost a single hit point. Come on, Cap, you Muppets. What is it with you people? Oh, okay, where's, where's the cruiser? Okay, armor-piercing, enemy cruiser sighted. Can we sink her? That's the shores. Come on. We gotta sink something. Okay, you sink that destroyer over there. There's a Bayern, there's a shores. Ah, this is gonna be close. So I don't have angle on her. Come on. Okay. Everything we got. No, that's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough. Come, give me the citadels. Yes, but that's not going to be enough. Ah, crud. Well, we lost that one. But that was uh, kind of like I would expect the Pensacola to play. Not a huge difference. Definitely can't broadside battleships. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, we definitely overextended there and uh, they were paying attention, not just to the center. Uh, 60,000 damage is not bad. Um, we did come out top of our team. 
but just by a small margin. Now that Colorado did it, did a good, good actually did a good job sniping from back there, even though he didn't lose any health. Or was that the other one? Can't quite tell. But um, at Leningrad, goodness gracious, they murdered everybody. I always get terrible games in the in the, in the Leningrad. So uh, forty three thousand damage, uh, good fire damage. So definitely liking. I mean, maybe we got lucky. Oh, five five fires, six fires. Yeah, that's usually what I get. Um, with the Pensacola as well. So, yes, similar to the Pensacola, definitely similar. I am going to go with the steering gear mod because I do like a bit more, a bit more, to, um, a bit faster turn. And I'm thinking to go with the main battery mod because we do get the rapid reloads. Once the captain is, is up, we get actually three of them. So I'd rather have the... Uh, the battery traverse speed then getting because it, the survivability gets a hit and you could balance that with uh with the uh, slot two but i don't want to waste slot two or nothing so i'm gonna go with traverse speed there we go it gets the batteries around it slightly bit quicker uh actually got a mission done here yep first mission of the day okay don't get distracted terry the new orleans is a pretty ship I like her. Uh, she plays very much like the Pensacola. And, um, well, we'll I'm going to play... You still have to be very careful being aggressive because battleships can hurt you very badly, even with the upgraded armor. So, yeah, because also, you know, we're tier 7 now, so we're, we're hitting tier 8 battleships, so we're hitting 400 millimeter, uh, 400 millimeter main guns. So, yeah, be careful with battleships. And that's... The next one's going to be the Wichita in tier 8. So that's uh, 135,000 XP away. So don't expect that one next week because I'm going to have to play this thing for a while to get there. But definitely a fun ship. And once the commander is all upgraded and uh, everything goes well, and if I have a bit of a better game with her, then I might post that at some point. But uh, I'll see you again in the next stop on the road to Des Moines, the Wichita. For today, that was it for the New Orleans. Thanks everybody, and see you next time. Bye.